Now that we've roughed in the overall shape of the body, we can look at how to add additional detail or additional edges in order to fine tune the shape of the car and add items such as a hood scoop or fins or a spoiler or whatever other things you may want to add to spice up or change your design. While you're in the sculpt environment, you can double click on any edge to select the entire loop around a car. As I mentioned earlier, when you begin, you want as few edges as possible to define your shape because you can always add edges and points later to add complexity as needed. There's no need to start at a very complex spot when you can work your way into it as needed. In this section, what we're going to do is add a hood scoop to the car. What we're going to do is add a hood scoop that fits somewhere right in this area where it's just in front of the windshield, but not too far down on the hood. To do this, we're going to need to add some geometry. As mentioned, if you double click on an edge, you can select the entire loop. Once you have it selected, if you right click, there's an option in the right click menu to insert an edge. You'll see a green preview line come up and a heads up display indicating 0 0.50. It's important when you're inserting an edge to understand that this 0 0.50 is not a distance value, it's a percentage value. What this means is that this edge is gonna be inserted halfway between the edge that was selected and the next edge that you can find. If you look at this from the right hand side, you'll see that this edge runs perfectly in the middle between this edge here and the selected edge. You can use the heads up display to drag that in any way you need to, to adjust its position. If you want it to be on the other side of the line, for example, halfway between the next, you would simply set it to a negative value. Here, we've got it set to negative 0.46, which is almost 0.5. If you need to put in an exact value, you can highlight the text and type in the value you need. In this case, however, we're gonna get this to be about 0.125. This will keep it fairly close to the edge we selected, but we'll add an additional edge near the windshield. For right now, we're going to go ahead and leave all the other options the same and select OK. You'll see in doing that, that the shape was modified because it tries to keep this edge that was inserted, and we can make some minor adjustments to clean this up. For example, if we go into the edit form mode, we can select this vertex point by going to the vertex mode, selecting that point, and just raising it just a little bit. What you'll see is that the car edges become smooth and start to clean up just a little bit. The other thing we'll notice is this point is a little bit further back than it needs to be. We can straighten this out just a little bit without changing the overall shape too much. And you'll notice that the curve that we had there before could even be adjusted a little bit too. Let's drag that out just a little bit and move it down just a hair. And you can see that the shape of the car is starting to look a little more clean. What we've also done is we've given ourselves some edges to control the overall shape of the hood scoop. Before we get there, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to edge mode. I'll double click that edge, which selects everything along that entire edge. And I'm going to move that forward towards the front of the car just a little bit to give us a little more room for our hood scoop. It's important to remember that these steps are more of a process than an exact science. Each of us might have different opinions on what looks good and what doesn't. Now that we have the edge near the windshield created, I'm going to go ahead and repeat that process one more time, but this time we're going to select this edge that runs down the right hand side of the car. I'm going to double click it. You'll notice that the blue one was double clicked. That's the edge we selected. The yellow was selected automatically because of the symmetry line. With that selected, I'm going to right click and select insert edge. And I'm going to drag this so that it's about 0.3 away from the edge we selected. Now, because we have symmetry on, the green edge that you're seeing as a preview will be created. And there'll also be a corresponding edge that's created on the opposite side as well. I'm going to select OK and you can see that the shape is becoming more defined. We now have the edges we need to create the hood scoop. If you look, I can select both of these faces and you can see that it's got a basic shape of a hood scoop that I think is appropriate. 
The reason we added those edges was to control the overall size of the hood scoop, but also control where the edges are going to be as well. Before we continue, it's important to recognize that when I left click on this blue section or this face to make it blue, the other side is selected yellow. When you see something selected yellow, it indicates that it was only selected because of the symmetry line. This is important because this will affect this next step. If, for example, we were to edit the form in this mode where we've selected this face, but the other side is only selected because of the symmetry line, we're going to get an effect that may not be exactly what we want. And I'm going to show you what that looks like just in case you run into this, you understand what's happening. While you have a face selected, if you hold Alt down on your keyboard and then left click and drag the arrow upwards, rather than moving the face, you've actually inserted edges and moved the face to add material. But because we only selected one half of the car, we're getting two bumps or two additions of material instead of just one. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel by right clicking and selecting cancel to return to where we started. What's important here is rather than just selecting one side, if you hold shift down and select both faces, and then enter edit form, you can add material across the symmetry line as if it wasn't there. It helps you prevent having to turn symmetry on and off in this case to get the, the look that we want here. With both of those faces selected, indicated by both of them being blue, you can hold alt down on the keyboard and then left click and drag on the up arrow to add material and you get a significantly different look and feel. What this does is adds material so that we can start to shape our hood scoop. At this point, our hood shape is generally where we want it and we can continue with the refinement to dial it in exactly the way we want. 